Welcome to I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom from Dollar Shave Club, where we explain something very complicated in mere minutes to occupy your brain while you shave. In this edition, we'll be answering the question, what happens immediately after you die, as explained by someone who sounds smart because he's British. Your body goes through a lot in the minutes and hours following your death. As soon as your heart stops beating, your blood pools and begins to settle, causing your skin to appear a blotchy purple and pink as you rapidly cool to room temperature. This coagulated blood also causes the body to stiffen, what's known as rigor mortis, within two to six hours. During this time, if air is trapped in the lungs, it may squeeze out past the vocal cords, causing your body to make a few last, really unsettling moaning or groaning sounds. Do people really poop their pants when they die? Not everyone. It can happen because there's a part of your brain that thoughtfully keeps your sphincter locked tight for you most of the time. This gets shut off by death, along with the rest of your brain, and so that muscle relaxes. If you have stool fairly close to the exit, when that happens, it will probably spill out. Well, that's just weird and gross. It gets worse. Not only is it possible for men to get one last erection after they die, some of them even manage to ejaculate. Now, this is not common. In fact, it's mostly only seen if the person has suffered a particularly fast and violent death, especially a death by hanging. The erection is caused by blood pooling in the lower half of the body, something likely to happen if the hanged body is left in place for some time, while the Even rarer ejaculation can be caused by the spasms the person's nervous system goes through in their final moments. Wow. So what happens after that? Decomposition. Bacteria quickly starts breaking down your body and everything begins to rot. Within a month, the organs liquefy and your body swells up and bursts open. When nature has finished cleaning up that mess, only your bones remain. What about people who nearly die but then come back? Don't they go through something a little more spiritual? Many people who've had near-death experiences certainly seem to describe similar sensations, including visions of bright lights and feelings of intense happiness. So is that proof that there's an afterlife? That's really not my place to say, although there are scientific explanations for most of these phenomena. The famous tunnel of light, for example. It's thought that this is due to the tunnel vision that occurs when the flow of blood and oxygen to the eye is restricted, something that's fairly common in situations surrounding a near-death experience. As for the sense of euphoria people describe, well, what those people may not remember is that at the time they felt that, they were being pumped full of some serious medical-grade stimulants. What about people who felt their souls rise up out of their bodies? That must mean there's a heaven, right? Sadly, this sensation of rising up and seeing yourself from above has also been reported numerous times by those who experience sleep paralysis. It's caused by a glitch in the way you process sensory information, altering the way you experience your body. A 2005 study found it was pretty easy to induce this exact experience just by stimulating the right temporary parietal junction of the brain. Even in death, you are a colossal bummer. Tune in next time for more I Learned a Thing in the Bathroom. And in the meantime, head to dollarshaveclub.com for more podcasts and a big old pile of grooming products.